I've been an avid hiker of the East Coast United States for the majority of my life, and this was the first time I've noticed this kind of unmistakable growth. I've seen all kinds of lichen, and even did a video just on lichen, and what it is, and the different kinds you'll see, and also their various uses. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can learn more about them there. But on a recent hike in Lancaster County, South Carolina, I came across an entire stretch of area with trees young and old covered with speckled blister lichen. What is it? What is that? Where did it come from? Let's dive in. Without looking for lichen or particular types of lichen, I just started to notice them because of their lighter color and the pattern of them on the various trees. As I got closer, I could immediately tell all these trees had a war of crustose lichen going on all over them. I got super excited just because of how much lichen growth was on all these trees. And in my lichen video, posted in the description below, I talked about how lichen can use chemical compounds to guard their territory and create boundaries and borders from other encroaching growths. Thinking I was just going to get good pictures or maybe another little video of all these lichen species and this intense boundary war over these trees, it quickly dawned on me that one of these species I'm looking at I've never seen before. Going up right alongside against rim and script lichen was a speckled blister lichen. It's actually quite the sight. Just look at all the healthy growth here. And that's the thing too. Lichen is a great bioindicator to evaluate the health of a forest environment. Since they're some of the most pollution and climate sensitive organisms on earth, they help us with the detection of climate and air quality changes. They lack roots and are unable to store water. They're not parasitic either or are hurting these trees at all in any way. Lichen, in fact, get all their moisture and nutrients from the air. So if you see any lichen, please don't go removing it. They're, they're harmless. I mean, unless it's on your house or something, then I get it. Lichen is formed by multiple organisms living symbiotically. The main two partners being fungus and one or more photosynthetic organisms known as photobionts. These photobionts can either be cyanobacterium or green algae or both. The photobiont captures the sunlight, turning it into carbohydrates for the lichen body or phallus, which is made up of fungal cells that surround the photobiont and provides protection from the outer environment. There's even more than that going on, no need to get into it all here. The link is in the description below, and thank you again for liking, subscribing, and sharing. If you Google speckled blister lichen in South Carolina, it might be just me, but I couldn't find a thing or even pictures. I read it may be more common in states going north all the way to Canada, but even people in Canada say it's rare and they take pictures whenever they see it. So let my video evidence prove that it's in South Carolina as well. I know people knew that, but here's, here's evidence. I'm putting it on the map. These conditions must be right here. We have a river running right behind me and a constant supply of moisture throughout the seasons, morning and night in this area. They love American holly and American beech trees, and that's what we have here. These are all American hollies in every stage. They are full-blown holly trees out here, as big and as healthy as they come. Some of these trees are absolutely peppered with them, even down their branches. There are other holly trees all around I pass by on my hike, but everyone here has them. It doesn't look like they're losing many battles. They're taking up at least half of the space or more. They have a nice solid growth. They're very happy here. There's something to be said about the black lines that run through them. And all these black dots in these areas, these raised grooves, 
These must be the areas where the ceridia or isidia that contain the fungal and algal cells necessary for reproduction are generated and are released from the thallus. Each ceridium consists of an algal body and fungal filaments called hyphae, and they're released into the air to drift to new areas to colonize. That's how they're reproducing and proliferating. So in conclusion, I'm just thrilled and honored to present new evidence here that this cool looking lichen has made it to South Carolina as well. And this is what it looks like here in this region. Where are you from? Have you ever seen this kind of lichen growth in your area? There's various species of speckled blister lichen that have even been found in Texas. So they can be found and thrive in a multitude of environments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the woods.